Hey guys, it's Monday with Riley, um, and I actually am on time. Yeah! I put an alarm on my phone so I not only remember to do this, but to remember to do my shot. Um, but yes, yeah, so this week's topic is if you were cis, do you think you'd be transphobic, homophobic, etc.? I personally. I don't think I would be. Um, mainly because. If I was brought up the exact same way, but if I had just been a guy, pretty much, and you know, to fit into the entire stereotype, etc., etc., um, the people I went to high school with, for example, were very LGBT open, and you know, I was always really open to learning more, I guess, about other people, and. I feel like that's one big reason, but at the same time, I feel like, for example, if I had been allowed to have done football or whatever, um, because I was cis and you know it was the stereotypical cis male thing to do or some sort of sport, um, I feel like there would have been that degree where I wouldn't have connected with the same people, I guess. Um, and don't get me wrong, I would hope <laughs> that I would never be transphobic, homophobic, biphobic, or anything, all the above. But I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want to be li uh, labeled as, I, I think this is how you say it, cishet. Which, you know, it's cis heterosexual. Because I feel like I still, I still, even if I hadn't been trans, I feel like there would have still been some, uh, sexuality questioning and I feel like that wouldn't that would be a factor but I would probably be placed into that ignorance of what it is to be trans and all that um, I hope I'm making sense because in my head I'm making sense um, but yeah so if is still only if it's not actual but okay yeah um, I, I'm trying to look at this from any perspective, though. Um, yep. So that's all I have to say. I'm sorry, this is a really short video. I feel like there wasn't much to elaborate on. So I tried, but I didn't really succeed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next week, and I will be on time again. Bye.